Erica Feldman. Come on up. She's 18 years old. She's a senior at Grapevine High School. Her teacher is Jeffrey Nisbet. He, he just rolls them out, all these artists. He's back there. Um, her artwork is called Finale. Now, okay, this one really got my attention. Yes, have the microphone, Erica. Um, this painting, you used an interesting technique to do this. Tell me about this. Tell me what was your thought process here. Um, so this started out kind of, as other people have said, as a project, and we had to talk about or uh, make a memory and into a painting. And so I started off with a piece of wood, and I did a bunch of marks on it, and I hung the shoes up there with it to kind of represent my dance experience, because I moved from New York last year, and I used to be a ballerina, but I haven't been able to dance since I've moved to Texas, and that was a hard thing for me. So after I did the project, my teacher said, you should do this like you made the marks you should do it so I got a big piece of canvas and I kind of just went for it so you strapped on your your ballet shoes yes. you you put some paint on them and then just started dancing or jumping yeah. or I mean I'm looking at different things here I uh, I didn't put it on the shoes I kind of just dipped my feet in and I just kind of did parts of dances that I remembered that I'd performed or just like warm-up moves or just kind of across the floor. So are done. you getting this uh, okay so now okay because understand I mean first of all I don't understand why, why you're not dancing anymore I mean what should stop you right it, I mean can you put, can you still dance I can still dance okay I'm not gonna make you get up and dance right <laughs> okay. now okay but so you're putting this on I would think it would be kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for people um, you know just kind of like working things out I don't know not frustration but what do you think? Very therapeutic, yes. You know, what, what, are, what are you thinking when you're doing this? Because you have a love of, for ballet. You, love, you have your artwork that you have to do for the class, right? Mm -hmm. I guess, what are you thinking when you're doing this? I, don't, I didn't really have, like, a thought process behind it. I kind of just was doing it and thinking back, like, on, like, the shows that I'd done or, like, the costumes that I'd worn and it was interesting because my teacher actually brought out his art history class to like watch me do it really she had an audience it was, was kind of embarrassing but it was really it was really cool because it was kind of that's why I named it finales because it was like the last audience that I'd performed in front of so it was a very interesting experience performing in front of people without music and just what emotionally I to do. speaking though um Erica what were you, I mean, are you happy doing this? Are you sad? I'm not really sure because you tell me, I can see the love you have for ballet. Yeah. You haven't done it for a while. Are you feeling happy doing this? Or are you feeling kind of like nostalgic? It's nostalgic, but I'm happy about it because it gives me a way to combine my two loves of like art and dance. And I can use my past to kind of like influence my future. So it's kind of a good moment for me. And so, I mean, I'm looking, I, I saw it out there, you guys have to also, like all the other pieces of art, have to check this one out because she has hung it out there with the ballet shoes. That is part of the whole thing. Yes, that's part of the whole installation. Uh-huh. And so, is art going to be in, okay, so you're a senior also, right? Yes. Is art in your future? Are you going to continue that? Or what's the plan for you? Um, I'm going to Brigham Young University in Idaho next year. And right now I'm kind of planning on becoming a surgeon. But if that doesn't work out, then art will probably be. <laughs> if I can't handle well, the blood, I mean, then art you know, will probably be my backup. A, a, a good art way. is going to be her backup. <laughs> okay. You can always do surgery by day, artwork by night. Yeah. And dance Maybe. at the same time. Why well, not? Perfect life. <laughs> right? What was your aha moment doing this? Um, I don't think my aha moment really came till I had the opportunity to actually talk to someone that was, like, really influenced on my work, like, seeing my work in the museum. And I don't think it really hit me till I got to talk with that person who'd seen my artwork because she was a dancer, too. And she saw my work, and she said, like, I almost started crying. This influenced me so much, and I kind of, it kind of made me feel like I've, accomplish something I can connect with other people through what I've done that's a perfect example about how art touches someone you touched her you know and to, that she tells you that she wants to shed some tears over this I mean really and when she was telling you that were you thinking um, aside from touching her heart did you realize the power of your artwork yeah it was very influential and it made me think because I'd never thought that I was very good at art until she said that, and I was like, oh, I 
can do something artistic. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, and so what do you tell kids your age? You know, again, your generation, but all generations are into, you know, their phones and, you know, their Snapchat and all this stuff. But you've taken a moment in your life to really incorporate art, even though it's for a class. But, you know, you took two loves and put them together. How do you inspire other teenagers out there to, you know what, use your art to express yourself? I think that art is just a way to say what you can't always say to people through like words. So I think just express yourself in any way that you think is comfortable, like the best way to get your message across to people. Thank you so much for sharing Thank your story. You. you were wonderful. Thank you, Erica.